Hey, this is Brent uh, down at BSRL in Tucson. Uh, we're going to talk today about our weekly planning. We use Smartsheet for our weekly planning. Um, the reason we chose this software is it was easy for us to duplicate what we have in P6. Uh, it's fast. Um, so basically we have, we have it set up just like we have it set up in P6. We're able to easily go in and duplicate, make changes on the fly. Uh, it actually uh, it has an app for the iPad, the iPhone, which is really cool to see in the field. And it's very quick in our morning meetings, uh, where they're in our weekly meetings, we're able to sit in and make changes uh, quickly. Uh, we track uh, work completed, commitments work completed. And this is actually uploaded uh, to Power BI. And we still have our graphs with our PPC. And it gives us our reasons missed. So we're still able to track that data. Uh, but really cool software. Uh, we're trying it out on this project, and so far it seems to be working really well. So let me ask you a, a couple of questions. Does it um, work on other devices that are not Apple, uh, like the iPad or the iPhone? Does it work on other, like, normal tablets or Windows phones or things like that? Yes. Yes, it does. And uh, the other thing is, can you explain just real briefly uh, why you switched to um, to using Smartsheet for your make ready and weekly work planning versus using P6, you know, level four detail in P6, and then um, you know using BIM 360 plan for the weekly planning. Like, what drove you to to experiment with this? So P6, we were having issues. Um, it was basically the speed, you know, being able to go in and quickly make changes uh, and not mess with other things that are in the schedule. Uh, so this was just a real quick way. Uh, to log on fast, to go in and make changes and not mess with uh, your critical path or other things that you have going on in P6. Basically keep it clean, not make it messy. So this is a really quick planning on the fly. Um, very easy to make changes. And then um, uh, for, for sometimes if you're doing long-term make ready phase planning, you have to do double entry into plan. Do you have to do any double entry? Like if you do a three month look ahead in Smartsheet here, do you have to do double entry for then when you do the weekly work plan? Uh, no, you don't, it, it's already in there. I mean, it's really easy to go in and make changes. So uh, really you just enter it in one time and then as you come up on those weeks uh, and make the changes, uh, it's really easy just to drag and slide and move things around. Uh, you could click here and change the dates uh, right on the start date or the finish date or you have the option uh, just to grab the bars, move the bars, slot them down, uncommit them, commit them, uh, and then obviously as as you get to the end, uh, your finish date, and you don't make that finish date, it automatically turns red. And then just last one last thing, what software does it kind of mimic? What is the user interface like? How does it act if you had to kind of describe what it's like to use the program? So it's, it's basically like Excel. Okay. And, and you know how easy Excel is to use? I mean, it's, it's basically a, a amped up uh, Excel software. All right, anything else? That's it. All right, thank you.